Hey Seashells, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, it's Chelsea J. And on this channel, I talk about fashion, travel, lifestyle, and product reviews. So if any of those things interest you, make sure you join the fam by hitting the subscribe button as well as the notification bell so that way you're notified every time I upload a YouTube video. So in today's video, I'm coming to you with another H&M drop. Yes, H&M. H&M have been snatching our edges the last two weeks. And they have been coming with some bangers. And I'm going to save y'all the whole speech. But if you've been watching me, y'all know I've been having my analysis throughout the last couple of months of H&M and the shift I'm seeing them take. And I'll be darned, I've been right with this shift that they're taking even to the remodel of their stores. You know, a lot of their stores are being remodeled. So I'm going to save y'all all that. Just go back and check the previous videos if y'all want to hear my analysis about H&M and where they're headed. All right, so this is H&M Autumn Winter 2024 Collection. And it's in collaboration with Charlie XCX, Lila Moss, and Arca, and Sage LSSR, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But anyway, this is set to be an eclectic, they're describing this collection as eclectic and um, pretty much a lot of seasonal trends, nostalgic elements, that's true, and innovative designs and a lot of standout pieces for the um, for the season. So, uh, and it is fashion, fashion forward based off the pieces that I'm seeing. Now, I will say, I'm gonna go ahead and preface this by saying, to my content creator girlies, my sisters, or and brothers, <laughs> y'all know I like to do these videos really for y'all. I keep y'all in mind when we do this and everybody else. But really y'all, because I know event season is here, content creators are starting to have their own events, which is very smart, business consultant hat, very smart, y'all keep doing that, okay? Uh, and collect emails too, <laughs> be smart. All right, so, but anyway, events are starting to ramp up. You have, um, you know, a lot of things going on. And unless a brand is dressing you, you don't have to pay for these outfits yourself. And we're going to shop our closet, but, you know, we want to keep some standout pieces just on rotation as well. So I do these, you know, videos for y'all mostly just to let you know what's new and what's coming out and, you know, it's inexpensive, so you may want to grab it so you can have some, you know, inexpensive, beautiful pieces so you can pull from when it's time to go to these events and things like that. So, and it's for everybody else too, y'all. Because <laughs> I know y'all have different places to be as well. Events are just ramping up just all the way around weddings, everything. So, this collection is very beautiful. Now, let me tell y'all. H&M messed around and launched this about two weeks ago by mistake, okay? And I ordered a piece, well, two pieces, and I had no idea, but I put them all in my stories. And if you're following me here on YouTube, I put them here on YouTube too, letting y'all know, go get this stuff. But I didn't know it released on in era. I just thought that they were just putting out fall stuff and these are some good pieces so let me you know go ahead and partake and people were dming me like an hour or so later saying chelsea what happened what happened i clicked it and it ain't there anymore and i went to go click the link and it wasn't there anymore and i didn't know what happened but i got some tea that it was released in era and it's going to be a part of the collection that is dropping tomorrow so with that being said, it will be in stores and online. Now, I don't know if all of the pieces will be in store and online, but I know some of the pieces will be, uh, but all of the pieces will be online for sure. The time that it's dropping, I do not know. Um, H&M did not give me a time, but I'm assuming maybe 9 a.m. ish Eastern Standard Time, 10 or maybe 12. I think that's around the times that they release different lunches so just keep an eye out so yeah that was the error that that was the pretty much so i saw this collection already online yesterday i i saw some pieces so in in the flesh so yeah it is a beautiful collection so we're gonna get straight into the content let's check out these pieces 
First up, I'm going to start with a set that I purchased that you guys probably have already seen on my Instagram page. But it is this dark maroon burgundy, which is the color of the season, hence my lips and my shirt. <laughs> H&M, by the way, it feels so good for $9.99. But anyway, that's what set. This set, I'm going to tell you right now, this set is going to sell out. It's going to sell. I feel like it's going to sell out very quickly. A, because of the color. And B, because of the material. You know, in the fall, the reason why we love fall, because we love to play with textures in the fall. And it's inexpensive. Now, when I bought this skirt, I don't know if they're going to jack the price up, but when I bought this skirt, it was $17.99. So this is the skirt. I have the tissue paper on here so it don't ruin the material of the hanger. But it's a faux pocket. So these are faux pockets in the front. And it's like a little skater skirt, you know, double XL, $17. So I couldn't be that. And another thing, when I picked this up, they had, I think, a 20% off on mine at the time. So I ended up getting this skirt for like 14 bucks. And the top is $49, but I ended up getting it for 40 with a discount. So I really should have went ham had I known <laughs> that it was because y'all know it ain't gonna be no discount tomorrow. But anyway, yeah, so I got the top and I got the bottom. Now they do have a shorter top to go with the skirt. So they have one that kind of cuts off like this. And I think that's the one that's in all the marketing material. So I think I wanted that one. I don't know why I got this long one. And they also have another variation of this top two. And they also have a longer skirt for my demure ladies, okay? So they have a longer, it's like a midi pencil skirt in this same material to go. And they had it modeled with the shirt that I got. So they have different variations of this same material and color in this collection. But yeah, I think this set is going to be the one that kind of fly off the shelf a little bit. Yeah, let's move on to the next. Okay, guys, so next up, this right here is a very fashion forward piece. I definitely could have saw this at New York Fashion Week. I could see this at Paris Fashion Week. This right here is a chiffon dress with ruffles at the bottom and it that second layer, it's like kind of like a mini tube top dress over the top. I just really think that that is so gorgeous. I love the color. I definitely could see it on a woman, her complexion, or even my complexion, especially if you have like a neutrals party that you're going to or something like that. I think that'll be cute. Or even if you just want to just look fabulous, okay? I think this is wedding appropriate, depending, you know, if it covers the back or not. Um, <laughs> but I, I just think that this is a really fashion forward piece. And I think it's gorgeous. I am going to remember, I, I think the price for this was $74. I'm trying to remember the prices on these, but I think this was $74, if I'm not mistaken. $74 or $69. It was somewhere in that arena, uh, which isn't bad for a piece like this. This looked like a designer piece. Uh, next up, you probably saw an H&M page. But they have this large East West bags. Y'all know East West bags are in right now. I don't know how to feel about them just yet. The only one that I really like that I've seen is the Gucci one. And I really, y'all know how I feel about Gucci ever since they pulled that stunt. But um, that's the only one that I would probably entertain is that Gucci one because it is cute. It's giving early 2000s. And so I do like their East West bag, that uh, the vintage one. And, uh, or oh, I don't even know if it's new. That's how much I don't even be in a mix anymore. But um, yeah, that one's cute. I can deal with that one. But this right here, they have a, quite a few mega, I would call them mega East West bags. And this one right here has the leopard fur with the black faux leather. And they also have a huge burgundy one. Now, this burgundy one, I think that this would be so dope with that burgundy set of the set that I have. To have that large East. 
You know what? Never mind. That said, I think I'm going to wear my brown fur with that and wear some brown boots. Yeah. So never mind. But I still like this East West bag from the collection Burgundy Croc. I think that's gorgeous too. And just so you know, the pieces, all of them went up to a double XL. So no worries there. Next up is this gold dress. Now, I don't remember them pre pre uh, releasing this one, but this is like a gold like, I would just call it a trapeze dress. Nice little A-line. And um, I think it's gorgeous, too. I think it's fashion forward. I definitely can see this at a fashion girly, content creator girly event, especially with some platforms. I probably would wear some uh, burgundy platforms with them. Or I, I just think this gives very much platforms with a nice little bust down. Or even how she had her hair with those soft beach waves. That's if you're on the West Coast. If you're on the West Coast and you go to a fashion girly event, I would probably wear my hair something like that. And probably some gold platforms. That'll be really cute. Next up, now I'm not fond of this one. This is a little too covered up, but some people may like it. This is just like the beige one, except for it has more cover up itch. So it has the mock neck, or really a turtleneck. Um like cape over it with the same bottom as the dress I, I, as the uh, beige dress now I don't know if this is a dress I can't remember because they did list it but I just scroll right past it when I saw it on the site and they listed it by mistake um because I, I didn't care for it but this one is like this faux leather I'm not sure if it's a dress or not but it's really cute. Well, it looks like it's leather though, but it look if it is faux leather, it looks like a darn good piece of leather, honey. But this is a slit in the front dress, very fashion forward, very fashion girly. I would definitely go dark if I wore this. I would wear this with a lip like I have right now, matte burgundy lip. I would have on my, uh, it's, they call it archite, but it's kind of like a gray. Y'all know that Zara choker I have? I would wear that and some cute, like, boots. I would even wear, like, some shark boots with it. You No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. I would probably wear some leopard heels with it or something like that. I think that that would be cute, some leopard pointy toe heels. Or any type of bad shoe. Bad but minimal. Next up, honey, they have a lot of fur in the words of Jocelyn Hernandez. She threw a drink at me and messed up my fur that I got from Nemus. They got a lot of fur in this collection. So they have this faux fur leopard jacket and they also have a faux fur black jacket, uh, a black trench. So next up is this burgundy sequin dress. Um, that's kind of cute too. I probably wouldn't wear it, but it's kind of cute. Another thing that they have, I'm thinking about these shoes. I remember having some shoes like this, I think from Zara. It was somewhere years ago, but they had some shoes like these, but instead of the gold, it was pearls. But um, these right here, I really like these studded shoes. I think that they're cute. And they're just some studded mules. Um, next up, it's gonna be two outfits with the, like the fuzzy stuff. And this is the first one, this beige two-piece set. Of course, it's not sold as a set, it's sold as separates. And it has the embellishment on the end. They also have uh, one with like a skater skirt. I wouldn't say skater, but kind of like a skater skirt. And it's kind of like a light pinkish, champagne-ish color. And um, the shirt has sleeves, so it's really cute as well. Next up is a piece that I would get if you are, are larger, you know, like my size or, you know, like that 16 on up, I would probably look into this if you're into the Frankie shop. But of course, you know, the Frankie shop don't cater to our sizes. So, but if you're into the Frankie shop, I probably just by looking at it, I probably would look into getting it if I were you, if you're looking for a structured oversized looking blazer, I would look at this because it has the shoulder pads and H&M just really have and have had some really good structured blazers 
and the pads that if you slept on them, it's kind of like, because I saw one girl video and she had like two structured blazers from H&M that came in the past. And I was like, dang, I kind of hate I didn't get them. Because <laughs> those were really good. One of them came from the Mugler collection, which, honey, that, so like that. And one was just a, on a random that they created last year. And I saw both of them, but I just did not pounce. I didn't get it. And she made me kind of regret it. And I don't really regret stuff because I normally hop on top of stuff. But, yeah, I regret I didn't get either one of those because those blazers look good. Another piece that I saw in person is this black sequin shirt. I thought it was so cute. Um, this, it, it looks really good in person. It's see-through and it has the sequin. It's one of those shirts you can throw on with some blue jeans. You can throw on with some leather pants. You can throw on with anything and it'll kind of boost it up. And you can still, with your swag, kind of dress it down. It's one of those duality pieces that I really like. And I would love to try it on tomorrow. Next up, y'all know I'm a sucker for the wide, the wide cuffs. And this shirt has wide cuffs and it has a slit in the wide cuffs. And it's just um, a white t-shirt. She's kind of covering herself up. But that's what it's giving. Um, so I want to look at that too. Next up is pretty much this silhouette has just been all around the fashion circuits the last couple of months. And it's just the tube top blazer. Uh, it looks really good. Now, I'm not sure if those gloves, because they look burgundy, I don't, I'm not sure if those burgundy gloves are gonna be in the collection, um, but they are gorgeous with this set. I definitely can see it with that croc East West bag in this collection. I think it'll look good with that. So you got that, and of course, you'll have the bottoms to go with it. So yeah, those are pretty much the main pieces. And based off the top of my head from what I remember seeing when they listed this collection in era last uh, week before last, I think um, that was pretty much it. Because again, I thought they released it in on purpose in time for Fashion Week because it released... Hold on. Fashion Week was last week. So the week before Fashion Week, that Sunday, it, it released on the website this Sunday, I think before fashion week and I was like, oh wow, this is a good idea that they did that they released these pieces just in time for fashion week. And I was like, oh wow, but it was done in error. So, but I think they should have released this before fashion week. I think these pieces would have been really good, but I mean, you got February fall fashion week um, for spring and, and summer. So, um, well no, fall and winter of next year. But so you got that coming up. So a lot of y'all probably take these pieces and parlay it. I definitely can see that tan dress, you know, with the tube top over it, the chiffon one with the ruffles at the bottom. I definitely can see that dress with a leather, stu a leather studded coat over it. I have a leather studded coat, a uh, moto jacket from Zara. I think that that would be cute with it. And you can wear some grungy leather boots to go with it to kind of fall it up a little bit and edgy it up. Think that will be so gorgeous um and wear like a leopard bag or something like that or um like a big chunky bag with it to edgy it up so yeah a lot of these pieces you definitely can take into fall however i wouldn't wear it in new york <laughs> unless you got some long jumps underneath. <laughs> i'm kidding um but no, that, because y'all know that New York wind get to cutting. <laughs> That's what we say in the South when the wind just, when that, when that cold temperature just, it seems like it just cuts you. It's so cold. So I don't know if I would wear it, but I could definitely see it being worn at Fashion Week in February. Um, that one I may go to. I was supposed to go to this one, guys. I got so excited, honey. I DM all the girlies. And I just reneged. I just did not feel like going simply because I just did not feel like going. <laughs> Simple as that. I had a hotel room and I do this every time. I don't know why. I don't know why I renege on Fashion Week all the time. I don't know what's that all about. I just didn't feel like going. 
I just wanted to have my feet in water and that's what I did. Um, <laughs> yeah, so I don't know. Definitely doubt I'll be going to that one because um, I don't have time to be freezing. But yeah, these are some really good pieces. Check them out. I'm sure there are other pieces too that I did not mention. But yeah, it drops tomorrow, Thursday. And yeah, get your life. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I share a lot of information over there, a lot of helpful information, try-ons and things like that. Um, of course, you see my last try-on I did. It wasn't a style video. It was just a simple try-on. And yeah, don't forget to follow me. It's Chelsea J underscore and on TikTok as well. All right, see you in the next video. Bye.